Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Brand new release day. Doing another two-box random division break of 2017 Topps Stadium Club Baseball. This is break number four. Big thanks to these folks who got into the action. Welcome back, Shahadi. Good to see you on the list. There are the divisions. Let's randomize both of those lists. Three time, three easy times. Two and a one. One, two, and three. We got Paradactyl up there. Shahadi down there. Excellent. Let's pop those names in here. And then two and a one, three times for the divs. One, two, and th that's what the cool kids call it, divs. <laughs> three. And else, I don't know where that came from. NL Central and AL West, top, bottom. Let's paste those in there. All right, so Chris, you have the NL Central. Jaime with the NL East. Kev California, AL Central with your last bot mojo. Shahadi, AL East. I've heard of some players in the AL East. Joe Ivers, NL West. For some players there too. And the AL West for Shotty. Uh, you can trade if you'd like, but here, let me alphabetize this. But, but I don't really think people are going to do that. But while you guys are thinking of trading, let's generate a number between 1 and 16. There are 16 boxes in this case. And um, we're going to generate two numbers to see which boxes we're going to do. Box 16. I think, we just, I think we did 16 already. Yeah, I don't see 16 here. Box nine. We have not done nine. All right, so there is box nine right there. All right, let's generate another number. Box six, we already did 16. Box nine, already did nine. Come on, random.org. Box 12. We already did 12. 14, we have not done 14. All right, there's that. Trust me, that's a 14. Kind of looks like a nine, but there are not 19 case boxes in this case. Okay. Um, I don't think anyone's trading. So trade window is closed. So this list it remains the same right there. Random division break number four. The next one's already in the store on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So check it out. Okay, good luck. We're looking at two on card autos per box. Uh, some of the different colored fonts will represent short prints, and some cards are actually serial numbered as well. Not a lot, but some are actually serial numbered. Everything ships in this, ladies and gentlemen, so that's also a good thing. Everything ships. Take advantage of that. Not all. Usually with breaks that have a lot of base cards like this, we're not always shipping everything. Well, you usually won't ship vet base, but this time we will. out of the packaging without there we go now I'm sure there's a list out there somewhere that explains what the short prints are or what colors are the short prints but or someone can some does someone know offhand Kevin maybe I feel like Kevin might know information like this Kevin um, or anybody I'm pretty, or maybe it's on the wrapper. It's probably on the wrapper. All right, so it says base card parallels gold is one out of the, gold is one out of three. Black foil is one out of eight packs. Black and white photos are one out of 48 packs. Rainbow foil, bur uh, foil bird, foil board, one out of 96 packs. First day uh, issue, one out of 239 packs. Members only. So everything ships. So there's all sorts of different parallels and variations and stuff like that too. All right, so there we go. What's the orange? I think the orange are like not like a base card orange. I don't know where that is. I think an orange is, uh, is, are these autograph oranges? No, these are just regular oranges. I think orange is one out of 574 packs. That can't be right. Anyway, it's all right there. But everything ships, so even if I like breeze by 
a variation or a short print, you know you'll be getting it. So you will have confidence in that knowledge. Some of these cards stick together as well. There's Jose Altuve, black foil. So sometimes these have parallels and will actually be serial numbered, but not that particular one. That will still will ship though, of course. Tyler Austin is your autograph. Love that stadium club photography. It's always great. So nice one for the Yankees. That will be the AL East Shahade on the board. There's gold Henry Owens. These, those are the gold ones are pretty common. That one's not numbered. John Lester, gold. So nice old school guys and black and white photos, which I think are neat. Jimmy Nelson having a great season, by the way. Nice. There's Eduardo Nunez raising the roof. Gold Don Mattingly. Nice Ozzy Smith. And Didi Gregorius, the guy who essentially replaced Derek Jeter. Didi Gregorius having a decent season this year, too. There's DJ LeMahieu. Should be a DJ in his post baseball career, I'm pretty sure. Corey Diggerson, Zach Ranke. It's up there. Man, Weeder's a national. I forgot about that. Greg Maddox. Hunter Dozier. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. This might be it. Yep, both Yankees. So the two box, two autographs in the box are Yankees. AL East, another one for Shahade. These ones are actually numbered. Five out of 25, Alex Reyes. Nice one for the NL Central and Chris with that serial numbered card. Randy Johnson, Diamondbacks. Zadidi Gregorius again. Nice Jackie Robinson. Zach McAllister. And there you go. That was box one. So we got put a bird on it. We got Tyler Austin. All right, second box in this quick two box break. Another one we already have in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Plenty of time to run back another version, another break or two of this if you're into it. Pretty solid price point. Some nice stuff, all card ship. So that's pretty nice too. And a brand new release. Um, 
question, baseball question for you guys. Over under Aaron Judge home runs. Over under Aaron Judge home runs by the end of the season. Over under 55. Over or under? You know what? I'll even put it at 50. Over under 50. Over or under? Blitton says over. Oh, is 55 actually the exact number in your head? So 55? Well, you got to pick over or under 55. Um, Shadi says over. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to take the under. Andrew Benintendi. Because I always think there's always like... I mean, if he's for real, you know, then that that could possibly ha you know, that could certainly happen. Looks like it, but you know, does the did the home run derby mess up his swing? I mean, that's a possibility. You know, rookies just, just more pressure later in the season. Teams are starting to see him, you know, more times. Maybe figured something out. All that's possible. Alex Reyes is possible. There's the autograph. Nine out of ten. Nice. I mean, he was Alex Ray is poised for a breakout season. If it wasn't for that arm trouble, and El Central, that would be Chris Paradiso. There's Elvis Andrews and Adrian Beltre goofing off. Yeah, I mean, well, what if, what if just Aaron Judge just gets walked more often? You know, he might not have see have a lot of opportunities. This is pretty cool. Clayton Kershaw. Nice. It's got a chrome finish on there. And I don't think that's numbered, but that's pretty cool, though. I'll set it aside. It must be something especial. J.J. Hardy. Yeah, it could be a league-wide... Yeah, he can just, just get walked in the time. He'll just have, like, a ridiculous on-base percentage, but... Stephen Wright. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I I'm I'm reminded of now this is a different kind of hitter, but I'm reminded of Jock Peterson, who who had like I think his rookie year had like 20, 25 home runs by 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 the All Star break, all maybe twenty seven. He had a lot of home runs, and he dropped off, you know, a lot in the second half of the season. Now a lot of that's just because. You know, he just had poor at bats. You know, he just couldn't, just couldn't struck out way too much. You know, and just kind of had a hole in his swing. But, but I mean, that happens. You know, there, there's that, there is that second half fade for a lot of rookies, especially power hitters. And it'll just, it'll just be interesting to see how, how that plays out. I think it'll be under. I think he'll, I think he'll get his. You know, I think he'll get to like forty two, forty three, forty five. You know, around there. But I don't know if he's going to get over 50, 60 maybe. Shahadi's thinking 57 to 58. It wouldn't be crazy to say, you know. But it's just that's a lot. When's the last time a rookie did that? Maybe Prince Fielder? Maybe his dad, Cecil Fielder maybe? Jeremy Hazelbaker is your autographed Diamondbacks. That's NL West, Joe Ivers. So, um, Blitzen is asking, I know something's going on in baseball. Is it roids or ball condition? I actually heard a, I mean, I don't know. Am I that cynical to think that Aaron Judge is on roids? I hope not. Everything indicates that he, you know, like personality. I mean, obviously you never know. Lance Armstrong was a nice guy too, right? You know, but everything seems to indicate that Aaron Judge wouldn't be that kind of player. But you never know. Yeah, there's always finding out some different supplement that's un that's not really detectable. Um, but I did hear a podcast. I think it was the Baseball Tonight podcast. 
which is pretty great. And I think they had an episode, uh, Buster only hosted, but I think Keith Law was filling in for Buster only one time. And they talked to someone, I think on Sports Illustrated, some writer, Sports Illustrated, or was it 538? I think it was 538.com um, that does a lot of the stats and stuff uh, for, for baseball and for football and ELO ratings and all that jazz. And they said that there is definitely something there. You know, that there's definitely something there with the baseballs that are it's just bouncing differently and getting off of bats differently. And, you know, the stitching may be a little bit lower, I think, or higher, maybe lower. Right. I think it's still a little bit lower, um, which may account for more blister issues for pitchers as well. So it remains to be seen. But that was the break. Stadium Club Baseball. Uh, let's do some more breaks so we can talk more baseball. Thanks very much, everyone. This is Joe for JaspiesHobbyLand.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.